Hello! Hello. Welcome to the Kate and Kay Show. Over the last few terms in our church family Bible slots, we've been looking at the books of the Bible and what they're about. So we thought we'd spend the next few weeks recapping and seeing if we can remember what some of them are about. Look out for some members of our church family who are going to help us. We're going to start with the first book of the Bible today, Genesis. So first up, challenge time. Um, I've challenged us both to make an animal out of plasticine and see if we can work out what the other one has made. Um, don't worry if you don't have any plasticine at home. You can use whatever you've got um, lying around the house. to. Oh, um, or do charades. Charades. Charades is a good one. Um, or make a model out of anything. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Go. Okay. I wasn't finished. Well, time is up. Um, Kate, why don't you show us what you've made and I'll see if I can okay. work it out. Here you go. I think that is a tortoise. Kind of. Turtle. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Here's mine. Mm, yeah, yours looks better. <laughs> mm, giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> giraffe. Well done. Okay. Um, we're now going to go over to Rachel, who's going to tell us a little bit more about what Genesis is all about. Three key words to sum up Genesis are creation, sin and promise. In Genesis we meet Adam and Eve, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob and Joseph and his brothers. Kate and I have just created animals using plasticine, but the very first story of the Bible in Genesis is about God creating the world out of nothing. He just spoke and creation came into being. But it wasn't long before the first people messed it all up with sin. But then God makes a really important promise. Promise is a word that people use a lot. I promise to give you this if you do this. I promise to take you to this place. But sometimes we aren't very good at keeping our promises. However, God always keeps his promises. I wonder if you can think of any promises that God makes in the Bible that he's already kept. <laughs> Genesis, God made a promise to send a rescuer to make us right with him. We know, of course, that that rescuer is Jesus. In Genesis, we also meet Abraham, who believed that promise. Let's hear a verse from the Bible. A key verse is Genesis chapter 15, verse 6, which says, Abraham believed the Lord, and he credited it to him as righteousness. Abraham believed that promise. And so even though he hadn't met Jesus, he could be friends with God because he knew that God would keep his promise to send a rescuer. How amazing is it that God always keeps his promises, which means we can keep trusting him just like Abraham did. So what's the first book of the Bible? Genesis. 